today i like to talk about how to improve your memory you see you tend to forget things very often <laughs> that's not good we all want to improve our memory how we remember things <laughs> there was a brahmin who went to his name was sangarava he went to see the buddha and he had this problem that he could not remember things he asked him uh, why sometimes even those hymns you know it was very important for uh, brahmin to remember vedic hymns uh, he asked even those hymns uh, that have been recited for a long period of time uh, we cannot remember let alone those who have not recited very often those hymns that have not been recited very often what is the reason what is the cause of this uh, losing memory not remembering things so buddha said uh, brahmin when one dwells with mind obsessed and oppressed by sensual lust and one does not understand as it really is the escape arisen sensual lust on that occasion one does not know and see it actually as it is one's own good and the good of others and the good of both now when the mind this very important thing to remember when the mind is obsessed with sensual lust at that time during that period one cannot remember even those hymns that the hymns or stanzas or dhammas and so forth that we have uh, we have been reciting very often we don't remember because the mind is obsessed with lust and how much less can we remember those hymns dhammas point of dhammas instructions that are not being recited not being repeated again and again now on that occasion they cannot remember even those hymns that have been recited over a long period of time they cannot remember so but they gave a simile suppose there were a bowl of water mixed with lac turmeric blue dye crimson dye it means if the bowl of water mixed with all kind of colors uh and if a man with good eyesight were to examine his own facial reflection in it he would not know and see it actually as it is now remember when the bowl of water is mixed with all kind of colors 
at that time he cannot see his face in the water. How can you see the see your face very clearly when the ball of water is uh, mixed with all kind of colors? Sensual desire is like that. When the mind is obsessed with sensual desires or mixed with sensual desires, greed, the mind goes to all greedy objects, greedy things. Mind is not clear. So when how can we understand things properly and remember them properly? So Buddha said, uh, therefore, these uh, uh, coloring things should be removed from the mind. And they, are, they can be removed by uh, several ways. One is, the especially uh, sensual desire, one can overcome through suppression, suppression. Uh, suppression through the first jhana based on the unattractive nature of the body. The sensual desire arises because we are not mindful of the unattractiveness of the body. But when we practice concentration, meditation, and gain the first jhana, unattractive and uh, on that on on the and the unattractiveness of the body, then one can suppress suppress the sensual desire or. Uh, practicing med uh, inside meditation through inside meditation or uh, the practice the path to enlightenment that is one way of that means three steps uh, first jhana and the unattractiveness of the body and uh, uh, practicing inside meditation. Second way is uh, suppose there is a ill will. That can be oppressed or removed from the mind by suppression through the first jhana based on living friendliness. Ill will can be suppressed through the first jhana. First jhana practice, first jhana is based on metta, living friendliness. Third is escape from dullness and drowsiness by suppression through the visualizing bright light, aloka sanya, sleepiness and drowsiness. And through the Visualizing bright light and by eradication through the path of Aranshi. Fourth, the escape from the restlessness and remorse occurs by suppression through serenity again, remorse being then eradicated through the suppression is one thing, eradicating is another. We can suppress through the serenity. 
sanitary meditation. When you practice inside meditation, you can eradicate it, remove it completely. And the escape from the doubt occurs suppression through the uh, defining phenomena. That means uh, uh, the doubt you can eliminate by analyzing your own various mental states. And then it can be destroyed, it be destroyed by the attainment of the first stage of enlightenment, stream entry. As stream entry eradicated three kinds of defilements. Let us desire for sensual pleasures. No. The, the 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 notion of self and doubt. Doubt will be eradicated from the attainment at the attainment of the stream entry. This is how they uh, eradicate. And Buddha said, one who is oppressed by these things, he that person does not know one's own benefit and the benefit of others, or benefit of both. And uh, one's own benefit is uh, one's own good, means arahanship. Others' benefit means good of, good and welfare of people who support us, monastic. Now, this is the advice one Buddha gave to Sangara. Then uh, the mind is obsessed by, I said, mind is obsessed by ill will. At that time, one cannot remember anything <coughs> because mind is sick. Mind goes to all the unpleasant objects past memories, persons, situations that cause some irritation, anger. So the person sustain, harbor, hatred, ill will. At that time they cannot remember anything. So on that occasion one does not know one's own good and the good of others and good of both. One's own good means attaining enlightenment. Others' good is those who support us, around us, our friends, uh, relatives, and so forth. They are goods. Uh, one does not know. Not Nothing clear to him. But the mind is obsessed with the ill way. So, Buddha says, suppose they have a bowl of water heated over fire, bubbling and boiling. At that time, you cannot see the bottom of the water because it is bubbling, heat, you know, steam coming out. You, you, you try to look at it, look inside, your eyes will be burned because the smoke is steam and the water is bubbling, boiling. You can see. That is exactly what happened when one is obsessed with ill will. In order to remember something, one has to overcome ill will. Either by suppression or through eradication. You can eradicate by attainment of the third level of enlightenment. You can suppress it by attaining the jhanas, concentration. When we remove them, at least gaining concentration, or practice mindfulness, when we practice concentration, we can suppress only during that period 
it will be not arise. But when you practice mindfulness, inside meditation, you can completely overcome, eradicate at the attainment of the never return state. So we don't have to wait until that time to remember things. In day-to-day -day life, we practice at least concentration and mindfulness to some degree, some extent. Then mind becomes clear, pure. Then we can remember things better. So with the hatred, you cannot remember things. And the third thing is, When the mind is obsessed with, uh, uh, op op oppressed by uh, dullness and uh, uh, what you call uh, drowsiness, in other words, sleepiness and drowsiness, you, know, you cannot remember anything. Uh, how can you remember anything when you are sleepy and drowsy? You have to overcome that overcome by suppression, by attaining, uh, you know, jhanas, overcome by uh, visualizing bright light, and continue your practice, and overcome it uh, to some degree by practicing inside meditation, mindfulness meditation. By these two methods, we overcome temporarily, and then mind becomes clear. Then we can remember things. Anytime when rest, sleepiness, and drowsiness arises, our mind is cluttered, not very clear. Uh, it is uh, suppose there is a bowl of water covered with algae or water plants. No matter how big the water bowl is, maybe a little pond, covered with algae and water plants. You cannot see the water very clearly. So we have to remove them. Remove them by suppression or remove by eradicating. But removal by suppression is something like when you take a pot and press against this algae and water plants. That time, the space, that particular area where your pot is pressed down, water may cl be clear. As soon as you take the pot out of the pond or bowl or water, then algae and water plants will come and cover the space. But that is temporary thing. We can eliminate them by practicing mindfulness. Temporary suppression is like practicing concentration. During the concentration practice, your sleepiness and drowsiness will give, disappear. But as soon as you come out of it, it comes back to your mind in your day-to-day -day life. Then how can you remember things? But when you practice mindfulness meditation, then you remain alert and your uh, mind is clear. And that is why the Buddha advice always jagari on you. That is remaining alert, awake, and then the mind remains always fresh. And then you can remember things, not otherwise. And so uh, it is just like if you want to see your face in the bowl of water, so long as it's uh, algae or water plants is there, you can see your face. 
Similarly, you can receive your own benefit and the benefit of others. What is the one's own benefit? Attaining enlightenment. What is the benefit of others? Making the others who are supporting us, who are around us, feel happy, peaceful, and they are they they are increase their uh, mental state, mental health, and all when you are simply in the midst of all your friends and so forth, if you fall asleep all the time, you can do any service to others. And they also might follow your example. And therefore, for your benefit, you practice overcome this uh, sleepiness and drowsiness and attain some stages of enlightenment. If you cannot do that, then you will not see your path very clearly. Then you cannot help yourself or help others. Then remember, in order to remember you, whatever you learn, we have to overcome sleepiness and drowsiness. Then, if the mind is obsessed with uh, restless and remorse, restless and remorse, one does not understand, as it really is, the escape from uh, arisen restlessness and remorse. On that occasion, one does not uh, know as it really is one's own good and the good of others. Why? One is always restless and full of remorse. How can see one's own benefit and benefit of others? They make all wrong decision, wrong practice. And therefore they have to overcome this in order to remember the path they want to follow. They want to uh, practice. Otherwise they even don't know what they want to practice. So, uh, therefore, the Buddha said, uh, suppose the Buddha gave another simile. Suppose there is a bowl of water and uh, it's stirred by the wind. Wind is blowing from all directions and waves, uh, ripples, swirling, turn, to, turn into waves. At that time, no matter how good the bowl of water is, you cannot see your face, you cannot see the bottom of the bowl of water, because it is always moving by wind and by waves, ripples, and so forth, always in the movement. Again, when you are restless, you may make wrong decision. You have to let the mind settle down. But if the mind is not settled, you cannot do anything. You don't, don't remember your path, let alone remembering Dhamma. You are confused when you are restless, restless and full of remorse. So you have to overcome them by practicing concentration, suppression, or remove them completely by practicing insight or wisdom, mindfulness. Only then can you see your own good, the good of others. Your good is attaining enlightenment. The good of others is 
their own well-being and happiness, mental peace. And that is what we have to remember. We cannot remember all these things if we let our mind full of freshness and remorse. So this is the advice Buddha gave to this man, Sangharava. And again, if the mind is uh, uh, full of obsessed with uh, obsessions oppressed by doubt and one does not understand as it is, as it really is, how to escape from it, from doubt. One does not know one's own good, does not know the good of others, because always mind is uh, full of confusion, doubt. And therefore we have to overcome doubt by either by practicing concentration meditation, suppress it, and completely overcome by attaining the stream entry. As I mentioned, when we attain the stream entry, one of the three fetters we destroy completely is doubt. Uh, Vichikicca in Pali, Vichikicca, doubt. And uh, doubt is a hindrance as well as a fetter. Among ten fetters, doubt is one. Among hindrances, doubt is one. So we have to overcome doubt by suppressing, practicing jhana, or destroying by attaining extreme entry. Okay, so Buddha gave another simile to illustrate this. Suppose they have a bowl of water that is cloudy, turbid, and muddy, placed in the, in the dark. Now, see, it is cloudy, muddy. In addition, it, it is it is placed in the dark. So, and still you want to see your face. You cannot see your face because it is muddy. And uh, it's it's, uh, it's it's very cloudy. On the top of that, you put it in the dark. There's no light. Then you cannot see your face. That means you cannot see your own benefit, nor can you see the benefit of others. Your benefit is attaining enlightenment. Others' benefit is giving them mental health, peace, happiness. None of them can you do when your mind is uh, obsessed with uh, uh, this uh, doubt. So, Vichikicca, you have to have a clear vision, clear understanding to follow the path and help others. And therefore, so long as we keep doubting, Having skeptical doubt, which is very uh, thick, like in the dark, like the darkness, uh, you cannot make much progress in your practice. And what all this means, Buddha explained the way to in, in, in increase our memory and remember things is to overcome five hindrances. <laughs> that is what in this whole discourse Buddha explained. We have to overcome five hindrances. And these hindrances are not something 
a secret. These are open. Everybody, everywhere in the universe experience this. Especially when they come to make the mind clear, uh, look at the luminous state of mind. You know, Buddha said this minus is luminous. But adventures defilements defile it, pollute it, make it make make it dirty. And so, in order to when when we reach the luminous state of mind, then everything is very clear. Then then we practice dhamma and even remember things. Even though you are. Uh, nervous system become uh, sometimes weak uh, still you can remember things if you overcome these five hindrances this is the universal advice that the Buddha gave advice to everybody although he his uh, the person who asked the question was a Brahmin and the advice he gave to the Brahmin is good for anybody, everywhere, anytime, that time, this time and in future. And therefore we have to remember how profound this teaching is. That means we must make effort, strive hard, to overcome these mental impurities, reach our luminous state of mind, and remember what we are supposed to do. We don't want to keep lingering in samsara, experience suffering all the time, and we must make our path clear and attain liberation from samsaric suffering. So friends, I think this may be enough for today's Dhamma talk and uh, we want to do some <coughs> meditation and therefore let us start, close this part and practice meditation. Okay? So, so, so. Ah, oh, let me see. Okay. <clears throat> May all beings be happy and secure. May all, all beings have happy minds. Whatever living beings there may be, without exception, weak or strong, low, large, medium, short, subtle or gross, <coughs> visible or invisible, living near or far, born or coming to birth, may all beings have happy minds. Let no one deceive another, nor despise anyone anywhere. Neither from anger nor ill will should anyone wish harm to another. As a mother who risk her own life to protect her only child, even so towards all living beings, one should cultivate a boundless heart. One should cultivate for all the world a heart of boundless loving friendliness. Above, below, and all around, unobstructed, without hatred or resentment. Whether standing, walking, sitting, lying down, or whenever awake, one should develop this mindfulness. This is called divinely dwelling here, not falling into erroneous views 
but virtuous and endowed with vision, removing this horrible sensual pleasures, one comes never again to birth in the womb. Okay, friends, with this metta thought in mind, let us meditate at least for 25 minutes.
My means of this meritorious deed. May I never join with the foolish. May I join always with the wise until the time I attain Nibbana. May the suffering be free from suffering. May the fear struck be free from fear. May the grieving be free from grief. So do may all beings be. From the highest realm of existence to the lowest, may all beings arisen in these realms, with form and without form, with perception and without perception, be released from all suffering and attain to perfect peace. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, friends, we want to end this session with my regular metta wish. May all those who are in hospitals suffering from various diseases, may they all recover very quickly and return to normal life, practice Dharma, practice meditation, and liberate themselves with samsaric suffering. May all the doctors, nurses, and hospital staff who take care of these people also find time to practice Dhamma, meditation, and liberate from samsaric suffering. May all those who have lost their loved ones in various places, in various war zones, very poverty stricken, suffering from various diseases, and they have lost their loved ones, May they all find time to practice Dhamma, understand the nature of Dhamma, and liberate themselves from samsaric suffering. May all those who are in the northern direction, northeastern direction, eastern direction, southeastern direction, southern direction, southwestern direction, western direction, northwestern direction, above us and below us. All of them be well, happy, and peaceful. And they may all attain Nibbana. And I end this session, friends. Today is uh, uh, Saturday and people are waiting. So I see you tomorrow and come up with your questions and we try to answer tomorrow morning. Thank you, Bhante. 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 Thank you, 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 Thank you,